coming up on Torrance today, National Night Out takes place at parks around the city, and we're there. Community members learn life-saving skills from a local hero, and Torrance Summer Night Series continues with some Shakespeare in the Park. All this and more coming up right now on Torrance Today. Welcome to Torrance Today. I'm Kirk Lines. It's 4 p.m. on Wednesday, August 2nd. I hope your week is running smoothly. Thank you so much for joining us. Here's our first story. An annual tradition that brings the Torrance community together took place last night at multiple spots throughout the city. City Cable's Christine Lee stopped by McMaster Park in North Torrance and has more. Since I live very close by, I spend a lot of time here on that basketball court, trying to relive my glory days on the basketball court. Yeah, I, I enjoy being here at, at McMaster and seeing all my neighbors. National Night Out looks a little different this year. Instead of barbecuing in someone's front yard, there are so many different activities taking place at our city parks. Our parks in Torrance are one of our jewels, right? So to be able to come out here in our parks and meet with the community, spend time with the police department and the, the people we serve is a fantastic opportunity. From 6 to 8 p.m., more than 60 Torrance police officers are out across six city parks to meet those they serve. I feel protected. Don't be afraid to call. Be there anytime. Just call and they'll be there if we need them. This is my opportunity to meet our Torrance police officers and the fire department. I'm a mother of a 13-year-old daughter and a 4-year-old son. So I thought it was important for them to come out here and be a part of this. I want to see who they are. I want to see what they're about. And I want them to know who I am and know that I live here and I love this city. And, and so this is a great opportunity to start there. Torrance Police Department is so fundamental to the core of our community oh, wow. and for folks to get a hands-on interaction yeah. with our officers and the chief. I, I think it's wonderful and for our council members to engage with the residents and our police officers. Informal gatherings like this also give city leaders a good sense of what people are really thinking about. Homelessness comes up a lot, um, catalytic converter thefts in the neighborhood, package thefts from their front porches. But I think overall most people are very satisfied with the direction that we're moving in. Chief Hart says feedback like this is priceless and thanks everyone who is doing their part to help them do their jobs well. Crime right now in the city of Torrance is down 16% and it's down because the people in this community live a high standard quality of life and make good choices but also because when they see something suspicious they call us right away. Residents like Estella Hill hopes this first hello will lead to many more as they cross paths again in the coming days. I'm a friendly person and sometimes when they're just patrolling, I like to wave and sometimes I don't get waves back. So I just, I'm hoping coming out here and like, hey, you know, I'm friendly. I, I, I'm not going to attack you, right? And it make them feel like we support them because I do support them and I want them to know like more people support you than what you think. I'm Christine Lee with Torrance City Cable. Torrance police officers also hoped last night's event got more people excited about joining their team. TPD is hiring right now for more officers, forensic specialists, dispatchers, and even volunteers. For more information, go to jobs.torrenceca.gov. The Utopian Society Project, a Torrance-based organization devoted to keeping kids safe, hosted a free CPR certification class. I've been to many many CPR classes. This one uh, keeps you engaged. I'm a nurse and I need recertification and also I brought my kids to get them uh, first experience at CPR. Everybody should take the class because everyone's always anxious uh, when a situation arises they don't know what to do so if you actually go through the steps or go through the motions when an emergency arises uh, it's better for, uh, you have a better response time and you'll know what to do. Today's event is about spreading the knowledge and information of how important it is to be well versed in CPR, uh, first aid, and the use of an AED to save others' lives. I think the most important thing is that people feel confident with these skills and understand that CPR is not some uh, medical procedure, but it's just uh, performing compressions and 
rescue breaths in order to provide oxygen to the brain and keep the person alive. CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation is a life-saving skill that greatly increases the survival rate of cardiac arrest victims. Bernier, who is an off-duty police officer, was recently honored during this year's Medal of Valor luncheon for using his CPR skills to save a life. The life he saved happened to be one of his friends. You can learn more about Officer Bernier's story on future episodes of Weekends in Torrance and City Cable's YouTube channel. The Torrance Summer Night Series continued last weekend at the Wilson Park Amphitheater with a special Shakespeare performance. Ooh. My lord, the king, your father. The king, my father. Is he's in your admiration for him. This is my first time seeing Hamlet, so I'm excited. I think it's pretty interesting because it's less barriers between the audience and the cast and the show, you know? It's almost like you're in there instead of in the theater where you're separate. Plus it allows more people to come and join. I was an English major many, many years ago, but I'm still a big fan of Shakespeare's and Hamlet in particular timeless themes and at the end everybody is dead. I think it's great that it's here, it's convenient, and I appreciate all the people, the uh, staff, actors, and the organizers who work so hard to put this on for us. Torrance is always such great supporters of Shakespeare by the Sea. We love coming to Wilson Park because we know there are going to be hundreds of people out here who love us, who've been coming for years and years, and we hear stories over and over again of parents who bring their children who then grow up and bring their children and because it is a mission free we are taking theater to people who can go see it basically in their backyards. There's something new happening every weekend all summer. Most events take place at the Wilson Park Amphitheater. For more information go to torrencecagovernor slash cultural services. The city's community survey called Shaping Torrance Together has a new set of questions for the month of August. This month, there are questions such as, are you planning to attend any of the happy hours at Katie Geisert Library? And if water conservation requirements are lifted, will you continue to conserve? Residents' answers can help improve the future of Torrance. There are only five questions every month, and it just takes a minute or two to complete. To fill out the survey, go to torrentca.gov and click on Learn More when the Shaping Torrance Together banner comes up. Small business owners are invited to a free in-person workshop tomorrow at the Civic Center. The workshop is hosted by SCORE, a nonprofit that empowers small business communities through mentoring and education. The 90-minute workshop will cover the basic legal issues every small business owner should consider when operating their business. It takes place from 6 to 7.30 p.m. at the Katie Geyser Civic Center Library located at 3301 Torrance Boulevard. To register for the event, visit the calendar section of the city's website at torrentsca.gov. Jared Sidney Torrance, the city's founder, turns 170 years old tomorrow, and the Torrance Historical Society and Museum is not letting it go unnoticed. Torrance, who was born on August 3, 1851, was a real estate developer who envisioned a mixed industrial and residential community south of Los Angeles. The Torrance Historical Society Museum will honor his memory by launching late night Thursdays in August, opening their doors later than usual. So stop by the museum tomorrow night and every Thursday this month from 5 to 8 p.m. and explore the Historical Society's collections. It is located at 1345 Post Avenue. All of the events are free and open to the public. If you're looking to take one last summer road trip, how about checking out a state park for free? Torrance Library card holders can check out a California State Library's Parks Pass at any of its six locations. The day use pass allows one vehicle with up to nine passengers free entry into more than 200 participating state parks. Passes can be checked out for up to three weeks and can be used on multiple days at multiple parks. For more information, visit parks.ca.gov. Still ahead, it's World Series Wednesday, and we'll tell you about a Torrance baseball team that will represent the city for a chance to win it all when we come back in 60 seconds.
you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. When it comes to making plans, you are the best. What about those barbecues you plan in detail for your family? Or your daughter's first costume party? It was out of this world. The same way you plan each detail for those moments, start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Sign up for local weather and emergency alerts. Prepare an emergency kit and make a family communications plan. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. At the end of every episode of Torrance Today, we want to share a positive story that fits the theme for the day. On this World Series Wednesday, the Torrance Babe Ruth 13 to 15 year old All-Stars are heading to New York for a chance to win it all. The team competed in the regional championship in Northern California, defeating the team from Madera 4-1. The game started off as a pitcher's duel and was scoreless through the fourth inning. Madera scored first, but it was all Torrance after that. The 2023 Babe Ruth World Series will be held in Jamestown, New York, starting August 10th, when 10 teams from around the country will battle it out for the title of champion. Congratulations to Team Torrance. We will keep you posted on their progress throughout the tournament. For more information, visit TorrenceBabeRuth.com. Well, that's our show for today. Let us know if you have a positive story to tell by emailing us at TorrenceToday at TorrenceCA.gov. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow with more news from and for our Torrance community. Have a good day.